getting what you and I want. They were having thousands of people get the Holy Ghost. Thousands. Upwards of 100,000 would show up at open air meetings and they would walk for days to get there. Walk for days. And uh, she came to the United States and was preaching, speaking at a, at a conference or a convention of some sort. I don't know exactly what it was or where it was at. But she was speaking on the subject of prayer. And she said, you say you want revival? Listen, I'm burying myself right here. I'm burying myself. I've got to try for this. She said, you, want, you say you want revival and you only pray an hour a day? Come on. She said, you got to pray an hour a day just to escape temptation. Amen. Now listen, I'm being truthful. There's been many days that I've prayed for two hours a day. In fact, there's been times that I've strung a week out praying for two hours a day. I'm burying myself here. That's something I've yet to reach for where it's day in, where it's two hours a day. One hour a day, no problem. Got it. But she said, you want real revival. You want to have, listen, I don't know, I, I'm not getting on, do you? Come on. Come on. I know you've got a schedule. I know you've got to get up and work. I know that. I'm listen, I'm not getting on to you. I'm just telling you what the woman and the man said that was having thousands to get the Holy Ghost. In a red verbal beating book, and he said, a man ought to pray at least two hours a day. Now listen, I'm not getting on you. I'm just telling you. And the Holy Ghost is speaking to the Son of Church. And he's saying, if you want me to take you to the next level you've got to set into continual motion the next level of your responsibility 